Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So here we are discussing the question Rook on code forces. So the problem states that, as you already know, chess is a game that is played on board with 64 squares arranged in a 8 cross 8 grid. Columns of this board are labeled from letters A to H and rows are labeled with digits 1 to 8. Each square is described by row and column it belongs to. So here you can see the row and you can see the numbering and the alphabets. The rook is a piece in the game of chess. During its turn, it may move any non-zero number of squares horizontally or vertically. Your task is to find all possible moves for a rook on an empty chessboard. So if a rook is placed here, so it can move in this column or in this row. So if a rook is placed at a point, we need to know all the possible moves it can have. So for the first chess case, we have 1d5. 1d5 is the same case as we are having above this one. So in case of 1d5, where it moves, it moves to d1, d2, d3, d4, d6, d7, d8, and then a5, b5, c5, e5, b, f5, g5, and h5. So these are the possible moves. Now suppose my rook has this position. If this is the position of rook, so where it will move? It can move here, it can move here, can here, here, in this place. So this whole column is covered, now covering the row. So it will be and so let's highlight so wherever we have highlighted blue the rook can move there but since the rook is already here so we need not count this one so our answer would be starting from here f1 2 f8 except f7 so till f6 and then f8 similarly we have here a7 b7 and so on and then after e7 as f7 is having rook so it is not the possible one on which we can move so g7 and h7 so this is the answer for the blue highlighted portion so now I think you have got the intuition of how to write the answer. So the answer is very easy. First we will traverse the whole row on which the rook is there. And we see whenever the, suppose we select F. So we take odd of these alphabets and whenever the odd of f is in odd of f is reached we will skip this one so we will travel the loop can be run from odd of a to odd of h and whenever suppose i have here j running from a to f 
सो वेन एवर माय जे इक्वल टू ऑड ऑफ एफ विच मीन्स द कॉलम विच आई एम गिविन सो दैट विल बी मिस्ड एंड अदर्स विल बी प्रिंटेड विद द नंबर विच वी आर गिविन सो सपोज वी आर गिविन इनपुट एज डी फाइव सो इन दैट केस आर सो हेयर कॉल इज डी एंड आर रो इज फाइव सो we will check odd of d here and the rest will be printed and in case of f the odd will be f so column will be f and row will be 7 so this is done and for next we have another loop j will be from 1 to 8 and whenever j is not equal to the row which is the number so we print those numbers which means we are printing d1 to d8 in that case except d7 so this is the solution to the problem i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching.